Why is sexual harassment so pervasive and so hard to address? Let's interrogate the whole system. Hi, my name is Jody Cantor. I'm an investigative reporter for The New York Times. What have you got? I was told that the wrongdoing in Hollywood is overwhelming. I don't want to be quoted, period. Understood. In your previous stories, how did you persuade women to tell you what had happened to them? A the case I made was, I can't change what happened to you in the past. But together, we may be able to help protect other people. The truth. What is it exactly that we're looking at here? These young women walked into what they all had reason to believe were business meetings. I can still see it, the hotel room, the floor plan. He kept trying to touch me. I asked him to leave me alone. Instead, they say he met them with threats and sexual demands. I was young, scared. Hi. We're from the New York Times. I believe you used to work for Harvey Weinstein. People have tried to write this story. He kills it every time. Harvey denies any allegation of assault. Will you give me just one chance to talk to you? Are you sure that this isn't just young women who want to sleep with a movie producer to try to get ahead? This is bigger than Weinstein. This is about the system protecting abusers. The women who receive these settlements, they can't speak out. They'll be sued if they do. But if someone could speak freely about the payouts... What payouts, John? You have to imagine that every call you make has been recorded and you're being followed. Can you imagine how many Harveys there are out there? You want to get me killed. Do you wish you hadn't signed up for this story? Do you? No. The only way these women are going to go on the record is if they all jump together. We're all here, Harvey. Who have you talked to? I have three daughters and I don't want them to ever accept abuse. I'll go on the record. Go right. It's time to write. This is all gonna come out. I was silenced. I want my voice back.